Hey everybody, one more little quick thing here in this unboxing and the beginning of uh, uh, comparing a MacBook Pro and an XPS 15 uh, on the road for a month or two. Just uh, after I've booted up the machines, quick uh, feedback. Um, I mean, look, obviously they're uh, Mac OS X, uh, or, you know, and, and Windows 10. Um, but, uh, you know, quick little bits of feedback. Uh, it's interesting, both of these 15-inch machines have got much less key travel than the XPS 13. And uh, they both have got different keyboard techniques. So the, the, the Mac has got its butterfly keyboard and the XPS, XPS 15 uh, 2 and one has something called a maglev keyboard. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how this works because... Um, this keyboard is super, super clacky. Um, this one seems to be less clacky. <laughs> um, and, you know, just I find that uh, keyboard feel matters a lot. So um, that's the first, uh, you know, kind of out-of-box experience. The second thing I'll say is the screen on this guy is amazing. So it's, you know, it's kind of hard to tell subjectively and forgive all those wires in the background. That's a a kid's science project uh, still under construction. But basically the screen brightness on the XPS 15 is just absolutely outstanding. It's definitely brighter than the uh, XPS 13, but I've always kind of liked the screen. Uh, as well, you know, something that jumps out immediately is the infinity bezel. So a much, much thinner bezel around the screen, uh, you know, than the kind of fat, fat uh, bezel on, on the, uh, on the Apple, I you know I I've been a Mac fanboy in the past. I've been using um, you know uh, these XPS machines for a while uh, and Windows 10 for a while. I have to say, you know, like it feels like at first you know first input, you know the Mac guys have have got to start to catch up. Like the fact that they've used the touch pa uh, touch bar here at the top of the keyboard. You know, I get their point that says, hey, the function keys on on, uh, on machines are not, light, you know, often used, so why not make that an interactive touch area? And it's kind of cool, don't get me wrong, to be able to, you know, interact and have that context-based thing. But compared with being able to touch anything on the screen um, and, and be able to use pen-based input, um, I don't know, It's it seems like uh, they got a lot of catching up to do. Um, in any case, this is what they look like uh, from the front. Again, uh, Chad Sackatch, uh, you know, from Pivotal. Um, this is not an official Pivotal video, but I'm a Pivotal employee, so I just want to make sure that disclosure is clear. Uh, the beginning of, uh, you know, a MacBook uh, Pro 15 versus XPS 15 2-in-1 uh, month-on-road field test. Thanks. Have a great day.